From the family of one of the victims and the Hunter High School shooting case. It is the first time since a bombshell ruling releasing the teenage shooter from juvenile detention when he turns 21. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live outside Hunter High tonight. And Lauren, I know you've been speaking exclusively with Tivani Lopati's family, and it sounds like they are disappointed and they are let down. Yeah, the Lapati family said that they were in disbelief when they heard that ruling on Monday. And this comes nearly a year after Tavani Lopati, as well as Paul Tahi, were killed. 15 year old Ephraim Asiata severely injured. And tonight the family says that they don't feel like they've had any closure. The last 72 hours have been excruciating for our family. Putting pain family into words, heartbreak. We're greatly disappointed with the leniency of the sentence. On paper. Which is not proportional to the gravity of the crime that was committed. Tivani Lopati's family can't believe the teen who killed their son. We miss Tivani. We cry every day. Ended up admitting to charges of manslaughter instead of murder, but the case stayed in juvenile court. We feel let down by a system that has not carried out justice. We feel mistreated by court staff who made us feel as if our grieving family was an unwelcome threat within the courtroom. Feelings that this could have, in their mind, should have gone differently. That the outcome of this case would have been different if Tivani, Paula, and Ephraim had been white or upper class or lived in a neighborhood on the other side of the valley. Mixed with words of frustration, a desire for change. We continue to advocate for action and investment to proactively address issues with a focus on prevention. And a promise that even if the court case is over, their battle isn't. We will never stop fighting for justice for our son, for Paula, Ephraim, and on behalf of all families who live with the unimaginable trauma of having their child's life taken without justice being served. And after that family released that statement this evening, Utah State Courts said that they are concerned to hear the Lopati family felt mistreated and that they will reach out. Now, yesterday, the Asiata family also posted a statement saying the system has failed to give them justice. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.